So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today I have a Halloween video. <laughs> I almost did not do this video. I was a little bit depressed that for obvious reasons there were not gonna be any Halloween parties. So I almost didn't film <laughs> a Halloween video. I was just gonna let Halloween pass by, just not even acknowledge it. Then a lot of people started doing Halloween makeups and I saw them on my Instagram and I thought, you know what, I really want to do a Halloween makeup. So yeah, we're going back to makeup videos, apparently. This is a thing. Uh, <laughs> ages this one. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd do like a little get ready with me to go nowhere. <laughs> get ready with me to stay home. <laughs> and what I thought is I'm gonna do a skull makeup but I'm just gonna do half my face like a mask skull mask makeup yeah yeah also I have some of my favorite sweets to eat while I'm doing my makeup um actually I have two of my favorite sweets and this one I wanted to get the milk a go with Oreos they're they were out of milk a go so I just bought the milk I don't. I like this one, but I don't normally eat it. Eat it. This one's I eat all the time. Well, not all the time, you know. This one, not as much, but that's okay. Okay, as you can see, I have already done this part of my face. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trace where I want the lines to go with this brow pencil. I use this brow pencil because it's like it's not my shade, so I just had it sitting there and I use it for Halloween. Basically, if you've ever seen like skull makeups, you just you kind of start here, go up, and you go down. That's kind of the basic shape. Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. You know, it's gonna look bad before it looks good, but that's just part of the process. I have my lines here that don't look good. That's fine, you know, it doesn't have to look good yet. And I'm gonna actually start by the teeth. I know, this, this tutorial, don't take my word for it, it's like, this is all over the place, but I'm just gonna start by lining the teeth and I'm actually gonna start by having the milk boss because I haven't had one in very, very long. Mm. Honestly, Milka and Oreos are the crossover of my dreams. Actually, my favorite snack like my favorite sweet are chocolate covered oreos but white chocolate covered oreos those are everything like i love them so much they all only come like in a big package and if i get it then i'm just gonna eat the i don't know 12 oreos that come in there in a sitting so i have to be very willing to <laughs> i have to commit to it you know i can't just buy it because i want to it's like a commitment. Mm. Okay, the teeth. I'm gonna try and do them with this um, brush. And if I cannot do it with a brush, then I'm just gonna go in with white uh, eyeliner, but I don't wanna waste my white eyeliner on, you know, skull teeth. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna see. If this works, then I'm just going with it. And if it doesn't work, then tough luck. <laughs> oh yeah, I look so good with my teeth to mustache. I love this. I'm just I'm like an old man with a white mustache. I love that. I'd love this look for me. But anyways, um, one of the things I kind of wanted to talk about is, um, I get a little bit of weight. 
I know. I'm on, on an unofficial weight loss journey. And I say unofficial because it's not like I'm actively like, oh, I'm trying to lose weight you know, on a like strict diet or restricting things and stuff like that that people, that people normally associate with weight loss. Um, you see, I'm on an unofficial weight loss journey because I'm basically on a change of lifestyle journey. So basically, I want to try and eat less like processed foods, like um, try and cook more, try and uh, eat more protein so I can get some muscles and be like super fit. I'm working out a lot. Um, I'm trying to drink more water. Like I'm trying to live a healthier life basically because um i think that's important and like obviously i am losing a lot of weight because um if you're eating cleaner and you're working out then you know it's a simple math you will lose weight like that's <laughs> that's where i'm going and you probably know this all started by me working out like I thought, you know what, I want to go back to working out, I want to go back to being super active and stuff like that. And I wasn't going to try and eat better, like that was not really my plan at the beginning. I thought, you know what, that's it, but things kind of happened simultaneously, like I so well, they did, <laughs> took, took me a few months. But I started uh, working out and eventually I just wanted to eat cleaner and eat better. Mostly because I I was obviously spending a lot more energy than I was before and I needed the food so I was like, okay, how can I optimize my food intake? Uh, and then I started eating more protein and then I was like less hungry and I was like, oh my god, good food makes my body feel good. Like, who would have thought? <laughs> and now I'm just um, on this path of trying to do as much for my body as I can. Also, since I've been eating better, like my body when I don't mess what I and I don't want to classify foods as good or bad, but when I eat like bad food, then I don't feel as good. <laughs> like obviously, like the other day I had McDonald's and I was super full and I went to bed and I was like uh, dying. And I'm not saying like, oh no, I should never eat McDonald's again. I'm just saying maybe I should not order like the dull quarter pounder. I should order the simple quarter pounder, you know, things like that. I'm trying to learn moderation. But yeah, the last few weeks, like the last two weeks, there were emotionally, there were a little bit draining. One week because I have my period and always when I have my period, I'm just so exhausted. And then this, like, last week, realizing that there was just one week left for November, just, and that we're still in quarantine, that just hit me really, really hard. Um, so yeah, it was kind of like, it was a lot. And I ate more, because food is, food is an emotional thing as well, like, it's not only nourishment for your body, like, it obviously is, but it's also, like, a social thing. And an emotional thing so um i was feeling very very emotional and it had been raining all week so i was like sad about that because i'm a, I'm a sunflower like i get my vital energy from the sun i don't i don't even know how, why it's just the way it is um so yeah i was kind of depressed and i ate more than i would normally do I'm just now coming to the conclusion that maybe this was not going to be an easy video to film. Another thing that happened is I started Chloe Ting's Get Peachy Challenge and I really like it. Like I'm very much enjoying the challenge, but it's maybe like 20 to 30 minutes a day of working out, which is fine. Like it's absolutely fine. Whatever you do is better than nothing. Um, but I had been doing like 
50 minute workout. So going down on the amount of workouts that I do is obviously going to impact my, my like energy out part of the weight equation. And so yeah, obviously like I was eating more, so I had like more energy in and I was working out a little bit less. So I was spending less energy and obviously I can wait. That's fine. Yes, not every week is going to be like a sad sentimental week and I'm just gonna start doing a little bit more cardio. I, I'm, I've been meaning to run, like to become a runner. Like, okay, not a runner runner, but you know, a person who can run because I cannot run for my life. Like I will run like half a kilometer and I'm, I'm, I'm done, that's it. So yeah, also I'm not, like, not sad about it or not like worried about it. It's just something that happened. But I thought I'd share it with you. Like, it's a good experience to have, you know. Um, up until now, I was either losing or maintaining my weight. And this is the first time in like three months that I have actually gained weight. Um, so it's good to know that I can handle it. Like, that's, what I, that's what I wanted to say. Um, I have identified the causes. And I have identified that there are not like things that I cannot change. Like, I'm in control of these, like, things. Like, it's about how much I exercise and how much I eat. Like, yeah, those are things that I I can't change. Like, I actually been changing them for the last three months. And if I have, like, two bad weeks, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But anyway, since I have been doing, like, before and after videos and I talked about my fitness journey and all of that I just wanted to to say that as an inspirational thing as a you know be kind to your body and be kind to yourself like you're not gonna be perfect every single day it's about the overall experience <laughs> I'm super sad that I'm not gonna have Halloween parties. Um, I'm not a, a party girl. Like in general, I like staying home. I like small gatherings of people. I like I don't know going to a bar or doing a beer. Like that's that's my life. I like those things. Um, going out to parties, um, I don't like as much, but I love to do it in Halloween because I don't know. Uh, tell me if. You live somewhere else and it's different somewhere else, but here in Argentina people are not interested in costumes, like they will just do whatever and call it a costume. And I love just going out in like full face of makeup and people will be like, oh wow, that's that's so cute. <laughs> Things like that. Okay, this is the most difficult part because I have to outline the teeth. It's just to get a lot of concentration, so I'm probably just gonna do this um, off camera and be right back. I'm also gonna open some candy. I think these are Argentinian. If you're ever in Argentina, go get moguls. They're so good. They're like gummies covered in sugar. The red one's my favorite. Also, another thing I'm kind of sad about is I love handing out candy. Um to like kids from the neighborhood and I don't know if they are gonna go like trick or treating this year because of the coronavirus and things and like I don't know if this is your experience as well but when I was a child uh Halloween was not a thing like it was only a thing in movies like it was an American thing it wasn't an Argentinian thing you know People in Argentina in the early 2000s were not celebrating Halloween. At least kids were not celebrating Halloween, you know. So I didn't have like that trigger treating experience when I was a child. And I was sad. <laughs> and so I really like giving out candy. I don't know, I feel like 
Uh, I would have loved that as a child, so I try and do it. And I don't know if this is this year is gonna be um, that is gonna be a thing. Because obviously um, we're still in quarantine. We have the longest quarantine on Earth, <laughs> literally over two hundred, yeah, over two hundred days of quarantine. So I'm also sad about that. I'm also like obviously I'm gonna buy some candy just in case um, kids do decide decide that they don't care and they want candy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope they do. I really like uh, giving out candy. I think I should cover this in white. My recommendation for doing Halloween looks is um, you're gonna have to take a shower, so don't worry about your hair and stuff like that. Like everything is gonna be like super <laughs> messed up. Uh, so be prepared to take a shower because sometimes you just you don't want to, you know. You're like, okay, I just wash my face. Like, no, no, that's not gonna suffice. I'm gonna have to shower. And another thing about Halloween makeup, be prepared to break out. <laughs> like, you're just gonna break out so much. Okay, I was not gonna do this much wide. <laughs> I've gone ahead and just done like a total, and you, my full face is stick valid, and that's fine, that's okay. You know, it happens. <laughs> I feel like I need the dark on my nose. I hope this goes well, like, I hope this goes so well. <laughs> I hate the green ones. Like I really don't like them. There's someone they're my like my sister's fave, but I don't like them. By the way, I just opened up my cute cat. I heard to eat chocolate like Kardashians eat their salads like this, like Yeah, honestly, if not, I'm just gonna ruin my makeup and I spent so much time on this makeup, I'm gonna ruin it. <laughs> but anyways, I look ridiculous. Um, I don't know why, like, I don't know why I put myself through this. Like, it's a Monday, it's like 7 p.m. and I am a half glam, half skull. I'm not going anywhere, I'm just sitting here in my room <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night um but anyways you know it was fun I like this I like doing this I haven't done like sat down and just done my makeup without any other purpose than showing it to the world via internet and not in person <laughs> But anyways, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me know if you want more makeup videos. Um, I feel like they're a little bit boring because I get so to, like into the makeup that I forget to talk. Um, but yeah, you know, if you if you want to, I can do them for you. I like doing my makeup. Um, but anyways, but yeah. Um, Hope you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in the next one. Mwah. Bye.